To help us better answer the question, let's look at what flags are in DaVinci Resolve and some of its practical applications. So without further ado, let's get started. So now to create a flag in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we select the clip that we want to flag for. And once the clip is selected, then the next thing we need to do is simply go to the toolbar and click the flag logo. And here we just created a flag for our selected clip, as well as another clip in the timeline that share the same source clip as our selected clip. And we're gonna discuss this a little bit more later on. Now to create a flag, you can also just use a keyboard shortcut G that will also create flag for the selected clip. Now, just like markers, you can also change the color of the flag pretty easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a different clip here. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, flag logo and bring up the menu. And then here you can literally select any color that you like. So here we just created a red flag uh, for our selected clip, as well as uh, another clip in the timeline that share the same source uh, clip as that selected clip. So now circling back to this point, that's really the biggest difference between flags and markers is that with flags, when you select, when you create a flag for a selected clip, you not only created a flag for that clip, but also any other clip in the timeline that share the same source clip as that selected clip. So this is definitely something that you want to keep in mind uh, as far as what flags primarily do in DaVinci Resolve. Another thing I want to bring up here is that if we go ahead and right now turn off linked selection and we only select, let's say, the video part of a, a video clip and uh, we will notice that uh, when we uh, set up a flag for hoping that we only flag the video part of the clip, it doesn't work like that. So when we select a clip and we set up the flag, the flag will automatically apply to both the video part and audio part of a clip, despite the fact that link selection is turned off and we only select the video portion. So that's also something to keep in mind. Lastly, to remove a flag, uh, all we need to do is to simply select the video clip and then go to the menu next to flag logo and hit clear all which you will notice that this will remove all the flags that applied to that clip, uh, as well as all the other clips that, same, that share the same source clip. So this is a big difference I wanna point out. It's not about the color of the flag, because let's say if we go ahead and right here and set up the same uh, red flag as the other clip, and we go ahead and uh, uh, select, uh, let's say that uh, clip, and hit clear all, it doesn't remove all red flags. It only removes flags uh, of clips that share the same source clip as that clip. All right, so another way to remove flag is also simply just to click on the flag itself. And this will bring up a pop-up menu. And then in the menu, uh, simply select remove flags. And this will also remove the flag as well. Okay, so now that we've seen what flags do, Let's go ahead and look at uh, some of its practical applications. One of the things that flags can be very helpful for is helping us find clips. So to do that, we just need to go to edit index and then under edit index, we're gonna bring up the show flags menu. And then underneath it, you will see that we have the ability to show all videos with flags or videos with only specific color of flags. I'm gonna go ahead and select all. So you will see that not all the videos with flags are here in the menu, are under the edit index. We can easily locate uh, that particular video clip. Or we can, let's say, only show videos with blue flags. And this will help us locate those clips even faster. Another thing that flags can help us do is to select multiple clips in the timeline that have the same flat color. So to do that, we just need to go to timeline and then go to select clip with flat color. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and select blue. So what you will notice is that all the clips that have blue flags are selected. And once they're selected, you can make changes to them at the same time. So here we can either bring them to a different track or let's say uh, we uh, make some changes to these video clips uh, through the inspector controls. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, make changes to the zoom uh, setting uh, and we can also crop the uh, crop uh, top and crop bottom uh, a little bit there uh, and these changes will be applied uh, at the same time to all uh, these video clips with blue flags 
So this is another area where flags can be very handy. One other area where flags can be very helpful is with color grading. So if we right now take this entire timeline to the color page and we select clips and then underneath clips, uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, flat clips. So you will here uh, see that in the menu, we have all these different options to choose from. And if we go ahead and then let's say choose any flag, what this will do is that it will return only video clips that have flags. And let's say if we go ahead and choose, let's say the blue flag, what this will do is that this will only give us video clips that have blue flags. This can be very helpful, especially if you want to apply certain set of color grading to only certain clips. So flagging them can be a great way of filtering out all other video clips and only allow you to focus on those uh, clips that you want to color grade. So this is another area where flags can be very, very helpful. Well, to answer the question, the answer is absolutely yes. However, it really comes down to your style of editing as well as the video editing assignment you have on hand. You may not end up using flags as often as, let's say, markers. Nonetheless, flags are a powerful tool that you definitely want to be familiar with in DaVinci Resolve. Hope this helps and I'll see you next time.